So I'm really pleased to be here uh, under my, my storage hat and talk to you a little bit about what we're doing in storage at Oracle. And, and we're going to go into some detail in one particular area today with some new products to announce. So I'm really happy to have so many of you here for that. In terms of how we're looking at storage overall at Oracle, I think one, this is a, we see as one of the biggest areas for new innovations combining Sun and Oracle together because we've got an incredible portfolio of technology innovating across all the different boundaries of storage here. And we've got, if you just look at the set of assets that we have to, to bring together for our engineers and for our customers now, it's really quite incredible. We've got the industry's leading portfolio of tape libraries, as well as automation technologies, media, and drive heads. We've got unique flash acceleration capabilities. The we, Sun was the first company to develop an, a flash controller for enterprise with unique connections to our software. We've got a terrific portfolio of SAN arrays. We've got our database machine and now Elastic Compute Cloud with storage and computing combined together. And our unified NAS and SAN products, the ZFS storage family that I'm going to talk about in a moment. And what we're doing is also working to integrate all of that with our software. Software is actually the, the value that is really at the heart of storage. Uh, I, I'm actually originally a software guy. I love to play with hardware. When I started working on storage in my career, I was pleased to discover storage is actually all about software. Um, so this is, uh, you know, and, and this has been, what's really amazing in the Oracle portfolio is on the software side, is that we think we have two of the most important and the number one technologies for storage in the entire industry. We have the number one database, the Oracle database. That is the most important technology for structured data. And we have the ZFS file system and data management technology, the number one file system, the first 128-bit file system, the best answer for all of your unstructured data. Those two software technologies, together with our applications, protocols, and all of our other innovations, are really anchoring everything that we're doing here. Those are also the two software technologies that are most advanced in taking advantage of Flash, which is one of the hardware technologies that's really allowing us to transform storage. So we've got some un amazing things we're doing. One of them we talked about earlier in the show was an update to Exadata. Exadata is our premier storage solution for delivering highest performance for OLTP workloads and data warehouse solutions. And what's so unique about it is, again, looking across that portfolio, how many technologies we've brought together to break down the boundaries between those things in the rack to deliver performance that wasn't possible before. We've got our unique flash acceleration technology being used by the Oracle database in there. We've got our compute technology. We've got the unique Exadata storage cells. And we've got an InfiniBand fabric and high performance RDMA protocols connecting all of that together. So this is allowing us to deliver new kinds of performance to what was not possible with a traditional storage architecture by bringing those pieces together. Now, one of the things that I get to do um, in terms of being in charge of storage at Oracle is, and this is one of my favorite parts of my job, is to, is to go around, talk to different customers, and understand what they're doing with storage. Uh, what people are doing with their data is, is really a, a fascinating topic. And I want to share with you a couple things that I've learned about that. One of them is that most people are not in the storage business. Um, uh, you know, most of you are trying to solve problems with your customers and your applications, but your business is not storage. Um, however, what's interesting is that across a wide spectrum of industries today, storage is becoming most people's biggest problem in the infrastructure. The performance of storage is limiting the ability of most customers to deliver the performance of whatever it is that they're, whatever problem they're trying to solve. The cost of storage is actually also limiting what people can do for their business. Because data and the ability to have a lot of data and use a lot of data to drive your business decisions or business decisions for your customers is really the, the thing that you're trying to use to accelerate your business. Right? So that's one thing that I hear. Another thing that I hear is that people want to manage their data. They don't want to manage the actual data boxes, the storage systems. They want to understand what their data is doing, what their applications are doing, what their virtual machines are doing in relation to storage. And so one of the product categories that's incredibly important for attacking some of those challenges is this new product category that's come into existence over the past couple of years, unified storage. And unified storage is a, really a, a category that we've been focused a lot on at Sun and now Oracle, uh, with, in particular with our ZFS storage product line. 
Now, unified storage was a term that was coined a couple years ago. Uh, I, my description of it a couple years ago, would, if I were a customer, would have gone like this. It either means that you have a SAN device that's pretty mediocre at NAS, or you have a NAS device which is quite bad at serving blocks. That was kind of the traditional definition of unified storage. What we were doing with the ZFS storage series at Oracle, our 7000 series product line, is really redefining this category. So we are making a system that is designed from the ground up to serve both file and blocks, but not one at the expense of the other. We want to serve both of those environments equally well. We want to build into a unified storage product all of the advanced data services that you need. Those are also all included with the product for no extra charge. That's part of the product and its support plan. That includes all the things you've come to expect, like replication and clustering, but also new things that were never thought of to be in a mid-range storage product before. Deduplication built in, compression built in, flash acceleration built in, dynamic instrumentation built in. Also, to bring all the interconnect technologies to unified storage, right? You want to support fiber channel and ethernet, but also many pipes of 10 gigabit ethernet and InfiniBand were needed and be able to do all of those things at the same time. And lastly, to support all the different application environments. So this is our definition of what unified storage really is. We think we're far ahead of this than our competitors, and our ZFS storage product line is designed to be the premier unified storage product in the industry. What I'd like to do now is to introduce you to some places we think unified storage can really help you in your business, and our new line of unified storage products. So here's some places where I think unified storage really matters. This is where it is going to the heart of some of those problems that customers are having with storage that I mentioned a minute ago. And here are a couple of key ones, and, and you may find more. One is, of course, consolidation. Okay, so there is tremendous growth in unstructured data in your enterprise, of course. And so as you're going through these technology refreshes, the ability to get more value for your dollars by consolidating is incredibly important. Unified storage is, one, is going to be one of the most effective tools that you have to consolidate storage in your environment, right? We want to give you a product, especially for mid-range unstructured data, that can allow you to get a three to one or better consolidation ratio with traditional products, right? And we think ZFS storage can do that today. Give you, and not only consolidate multiple systems in terms of capacity, right? So of course you have higher density disk drives, but to get better performance for that data, and also to take multiple different kinds of products with different protocols and different interconnects and get all of those to be on one box. And that's gonna save you a tremendous amount of money. It's also less different storage environments that you have to maintain. The other advantage is around data protection. There's a, a, you know, over long ago, you know, in the, originally there were really, you know, very simple, two very simple technologies for data protection in the industry. Uh, they were called the level zero and the level one backup, respectively. And over time, there are some new technologies that have come to bear. Of course, snapshots and clones was one. Uh, VTL sort of being a different way of thinking about tape, ar tape architectures was another. Today, with unified storage, there is an entirely new approach to data protection across your storage infrastructure. And what you have is a system that is capable of very high throughput, different interconnects and protocols, with essentially unlimited snapshots and clones and replication built in, and also having the ability to compress and deduplicate your data with very high data integrity. That's what ZFS storage offers. And so that's another place where by using unified storage as a data protection tier in either a disk to disk backup architecture or disk to disk to tape with our tape libraries, you can save a tremendous amount of money and, and eliminate some of these other technologies from your environment. Just less vendors to talk to, less things to worry about, less pieces to fit together. And lastly is around developers, right? So one of the biggest challenges you have in a storage environment is how are you gonna get more storage and more of the production data available to your developers so they can figure out how to make applications that consume storage function more effectively. If the only kind of storage you have is the double platinum storage that you use in production, it's going to be very difficult, very costly, very inefficient to bring that kind of storage to your developers so they can bite off a copy of that production data, do some experiments with how they could optimize the database queries or how they could optimize the file system layout and experiment with that. So unified storage again at a mid-range price point is an incredibly cost-effective technology for accelerating the developers who consume storage inside of your environment. So announcing right now our new family of unified storage products, the ZFS Storage 7000 series, now in its second generation. And I'm very pleased to be with you on behalf of my entire engineering organization to announce these products today. About two years ago, we introduced the first generation of this product line. Today, we're announcing the second generation of our storage controllers. Four products in all, 
ranging from a 7210 entry-level standalone product that is still powerful enough to support thousands of file systems and tens of thousands of snapshots and LUNs, with all of our software features included and flash acceleration, through our entry-level cluster, the 7320, a high-end expandable cluster, the 7420, and our new high-end high-density cluster, the 7720. This is an incredible new family of products. All of these systems contain PCI Express Gen 2 I.O. end-to-end, 6 gig SAS end-to-end all the way to the disks, next generation processor architectures, latest generation flash density and performance. And we are going to continue to revise our storage controllers about every two years like this to bring the most recent advances in processor, I.O. and flash technology to our storage line. And again, every product in this family supports every operating system, both all of Oracle's application stack and everyone else's applications, and all of our data services are built in for the one price of the product and its support plan. And the performance and scale of these products is really quite amazing. On the 7720, we are now scaling all the way up to, in a, in a cluster, which comes in this integrated rack form factor that you see on the screen, scales all the way up with two racks to a petabyte and a half, 64 processor cores, a terabyte of memory read cache, four terabytes of flash read cache, 48 flash accelerators for writes, and up to eight gigabytes per second of throughput. Right? This is an incredible platform at essentially a mid-range price for all of those uses that we just talked about. Right? You can also get the same performance in an expandable form factor out of our 7420 product as well. And all of these products run all of our data services, same software stack, and they all interoperate. For example, you could buy many of our lower end products and replicate all of their file systems and LUNs and all of their snapshots over to one of these for the one price. They can have a different, they, one of them can be using RAID 6, one of them can be using mirroring. Any of the storage configurations, they can all interoperate. Right? Now when we first introduced the ZFS storage family, almost about two years ago, there were two features at the core of our architecture for unified storage that were really revolutionary. And we're still the only ones to have these two features in the industry. One of them is our incredible storage analytics technology based on DTrace, one of our award-winning innovations in Solaris. DTrace analytics for storage is the only way in the industry to instrument your storage workload in real time, in production, safely, to understand what your workload is doing to storage. And it is absolutely incredible. It comes with a beautiful visual interface, which is shown on the slide here. And if you stop by our booth at Oracle Open World, we'll give you a live demo of this or even let you play with it uh, yourself. It allows you to ask questions about what your workload is doing and to break those results down in real time. Right? Anyone in the industry can show you how many IOPS your storage box is doing. That's kind of like having a thermometer on the wall. Is it hot in here or not? Uh, but what no one else can do is to take that IOPS and say, could you break that down by client? What client is doing this? What virtual machine? Uh, what files is this virtual machine accessing? What is the distribution of latency to this file or this file system or this LUN? Could you show me a breakdown by offset? Oh, I can see I'm doing a table scan in my database. You can answer those questions in real time on your workload about as fast as I just said that. No other storage product in the industry can answer those questions, and that's built into every one of our unified storage products.